need to come here you know, two or three times a year to, to meet with the uh, very sophisticated and cost conscious uh, uh, corn buyers and end users here in Korea. So uh, we like to come and meet with them and give them the latest updates. Large customers of ours and it's, it's great to be able to talk to them to show them the, the dedication that we have for our crop, that we want it to maintain the highest qualities and to address any concerns that they may have. Uh, looking in the future, uh, I think there can be a lot of work here, a lot of possibilities here with fuel grade ethanol coming in the future. Uh, with DDGs, we're seeing leaps and bounds growing there. So as a U.S. corn farmer, to be able to represent ourselves to the associations that are buying it, the companies that are buying the the products, I think it's very important that we can sit down face to face and just have really good conversations. We uh, actually spent the first part of our trip in, in Tokyo meeting with uh, some of the bigger uh, importers and end users of, of corn here in Japan the, and then held a uh, <coughs> a seminar in Tokyo to update um, all of our contacts here in Japan about the current uh, growing conditions and planning uh, uh, progress of, of the 2017-18 corn crop as well as going over some of the uh, quality uh, aspects from our corn uh, cargo export quality report. Mr. Fritsch uh, gave an update and also uh, the latest information on uh, his farming including uh, tile, um, cover crops, and all other new technologies. The Japanese customers were able to uh, get the uh, latest information on uh, uh, corn, U.S. corn growing uh, this season. Uh, in June this time, uh, they are uh, really anxious to know how the corn is growing in the U.S. And then uh, we visit uh, Hokkaido, which is a northern island of Japan, uh, and also the major livestock producing area. Uh, we visited uh, port facility, silos, feed miller, and uh, now behind us it's a 4,000 cattle uh, beef farm in Hokkaido. It really opened my eyes just to uh, see uh, how uh, it uh, integrated the U.S. corn is into uh, northern Japan and Japan itself. Uh, Hokkaido has a lot, uh, a big dairy area, and to see all that U.S. corn coming in, we visited a, a feed mill uh, that produced solely uh, cattle feed and most used mostly U.S. corn and DDGs uh, for that. Uh, that was very impressive to see, and just the the views towards the U.S. corn growers and the corn supply was very encouraging.